Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another reaction video. And yeah, I'm not as excited for this one, but it's kind of one of those videos that people always want you to watch when you first get into the sport. And a few people suggest, have suggested this, and it's the worst injuries. And from the, the thumbnail, it looks awful. I swear someone was bleeding out of their neck. So I'm not excited for this one, but it's interesting for people to see, and I get it. And it's probably going to show me a lot more about how genuinely like serious this sport can get because I can only imagine like with pucks and with roller skate or roller blades on the ice with glass around you there's there's got to be some awful awful injuries in this so I'm guessing you guys want me to see that but yeah any more suggestions you know what to do please like subscribe and yeah let's get into it man Whew. shout out to the person who created the video he's seeming to be like the main ice hockey guy so I'm going to link him into the video Oh. oh god. Kept in by Bodger. There's a long shot. Reno makes the save. Loose puck in front. Then Waho dumped on the rebound, but it stopped by the left pad. Here's Bodger sending it back in front now. Comes back to the line. Kept in by Krupp. Now recovered by Lauder. Gets it back over the line. Here's the pad. Oh, well, this is a quick. The pitch Bahar looks bigger. Oh, the, um... the oh, wow. Oh my god, he's gonna have some concussion. Oh. oh my god. That is the oh god. Oh please take the camera off and don't even bring it over there. Oh my days, is that out of his neck? Keep it away. Oh terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is the first thing. Look how much blood that is. It's a classic all over again. Does it say what happened? He's, he's still walking, but bloody hell. I can feel my neck's gone, my neck's gone tense there. It didn't like show the aftermath. What happened? I'm guessing, I'm hoping the people in these have survived. If they're all going to be serious like that. Oh my day. Hit by on oh mate, it's his face. Oh boy, Zednik, oh my goodness. Oh my god, he's bleeding bad. Richard Zednik is cut quick. wide open. Quick. Oh my god. What is I? Oh folks, this quick. is ugly. Richard Zednik is cut wide open. Oh, this sport is crazy. Oh, is that, it's his neck. This sport is, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. They've got a towel on his neck. Dave Zenobi, the trainer, and they're getting him right into the dressing room. This is, this is, this is very I don't even know what's happened, but mate, I don't want to, I don't want to rewind that, because, oh my days. Oh, God. This alive and well to talk about it today, but a quarter, this sport is, this, this sport is insane. Kind of a serious blood from Zednik. Quickly, he went, Yo, didn't seem to I'm in for a shot for this right one. The dressing room. That's the doctor <sighs> there hustling across the ice, Zednik. Is in the dressing I'm not room. even that squeamish. I'm usually good at this kind of right stuff, but I'm seeing stuff like this. Quickly put the towel and it's just like over top of the neck and hopefully was able to identify You don't expect to see stuff like this in just sport. Blood was coming from. But mate, you that I guess you do. I guess in these kinds of sports is more frequent. As I said, oh. this was many years ago, back in the well, I think it was back in the early eighties when Clint Malarchuk, a goaltender for the for for the Buffalo Sabres was hit with a skate that cut him and your main oh. artery his main artery was cut oh my god oh my fucking god teammate jesus christ his own teammate that is awful why what a fucking so i wondered why the reaction from the keep was so like i didn't really know what happened his own teammates just hit him. Wow. <laughs> Yo, this... Like the intent. It's crazy. Oh, he's... Yo, this is nuts. This is the most brutal... I don't even care. This is one of the most brutal sports I've ever seen. He's like wearing his helmet and he's just sliding across. Kurt Sauer being roughed up by Brad May. 
Oh, May just hit Kurt Sauer hard with a left hand. Oh, Steve Moore's hurt. Really bad. Moore's head went into the ice. And now they need a trainer on the ice in a hurry here. And the Vancouver trainer comes on quickly and they need... Oh, so there was more than one fight going on. Medical help for Steve Moore. This is the guy who had his helmet that fell off, right? Not that good. They're 19. In the NHL on home ice. Did he barge him into the side? Max Pacioretty is down as he caught the stench and as he was hammered right near the Bruins bench. And this looks scary. <sighs> He's got off broke some bones there. So that's just, that's dumb. Of course he has. Of course he has. Oh my days. The speed. Like, what speeds do players reach in this? Like, I'm not too sure about it, but like, I'm guessing they they get really, really fast. And to hit it at that speed, and it's sort of like he didn't slide along, he hit it and bounced back. Oh. As you have the biggest player in the National Hockey League. Hockey man. At full speed. Shit's crazy. Right in the face. Right under the tape of Jason Chimera. Well, you said you think he has a little bit. Whoa, jeez. Louise Andre. The goalie down at the other yeah, end. Andre Pavlik is down. This oh does my not... God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Andre Pavlik flat on his back. Greg Smith. They're calling for everybody. They've got to get out there in a hurry. Doctors coming from the sideline. It must be really hard to get to them in this as well, because, of course, they're on the ice. Just two minutes and 25 seconds into this contest in Phillips Arena. Stunned silence. What's actually happened? Is he just unconscious? Because I don't think it showed, did it? It sort of came onto him being. Oh, so it's got to be bad. Oh, he's literally unconscious then. Oh, wow. Literally, they're getting the. They're getting the. Oh, what's it called? The medical. I don't know what it's called. The stretcher on. And I've, from what I've seen in this video already, there's been people cut here, people like getting whipped, like proper, proper bad cuts there. And they didn't get stretches for them. So the fact that this guy's getting that, I'm guessing it's because they weren't unconscious and this guy is, but still. Obvious looks of concern in the stands. Well justified. This was not the end result of a collision or a slap shot that hit him in any way, shape or form. Our attention was trained at the other end of the rink. There was a whistle. So did it was like a heart attack. There was medical personnel streaming off of both benches as they reacted to the fallen netminder. Well, that says it all. The fans stunned. We are stunned up here beyond belief. If it was wasn't so, is that what they're saying? Is it, he wasn't even involved in the play? He was literally the other side of the pitch, and he like collapsed. Is that what he's trying to say? Just getting started with the 2010 season in a surreal fashion. We wish the best for Andre Pavlov, the netminder for the Thrashers. No score, we'll get you back in a moment, right here on Comcast Sportsnet. The speed of this sport is crazy. What's even happened? Yo, this must be bad because the game's completely halted. There was a lot of stick pounding and yelling, and the team bench was trying to get the attention of emergency medical personnel. Yo, they, the players look shook, so something bad must have happened. Like oh, that sounds dumb, but. Like really, really bad. Life threatening. I'm confused. Was it someone who was playing in the on, on the in the game, or was it just like someone who was on the sideline and suddenly something just happened? The two teams have actually come together. This thing has just come to a hush halt here. An obvious grave 
situation down there on the Stars bench, and you can just see it on the uh, faces of everybody down there. Lindy Ruff and James Patrick were. They look cop smart. Yo, I need to search about this. Because some of these like seem awful. But there's no like there's no context, so I'm kind of like left confused with what's actually happening, if you get what I'm trying to say. So I might I might search after. They look I'm so That's going to be a neck one again, isn't it? Oh, and he is in a lot of painted star. Star, star. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, he's holding his. It looks like he's holding his eyes. Oh, his eyes, oh, no fucking way. And that was after a pretty clean face off win from Claude Giroux. Well, this is just a matter of teaming and winding up, and we're trying to be able to get something to happen. But Yo, this is what is intense, man. In front, to to Everywhere I can describe it, and it's literally that. The fact that he's got up, the pain that he looked in there, he looked, like, it looked unbearable. Look at it here. Your stall standing right in the middle of your screen. That changes direction. Oh. He wasn't really facing the play. Might have been able to turn quickly enough to get it in the cheek. It might have been a double deflection too. And oh. In this case. Oh, mate. The cheek might have been the better of a couple of options. Boy, did that hit him hard. That was a double deflection. Mate. And you know what's the worst thing? Getting hit when it's like icy and like cold is the worst feeling. It hurts ten times more. And with pucks like that. Oh, mate. Ugh. I'm going to have to research some of the backstories to this because I do want to know about it. But this was crazy. I'm literally shook. I'm queasy, man. This was mad. When I done the NFL one, some of them were insanely bad. Like those leg breaks and stuff. But the bloody ones, the bloody ones, oh, they are awful. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope everyone in this video is all right. It wasn't like career ending or didn't end their life really. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.